come on in here. There's something you gotta see. You gotta sit down, you gotta listen to this. If you spot a Coke with a yellow cap, here's what it means. What are we talking about? I've never seen a yellow cap on a Coca-Cola, but maybe I haven't been looking hard enough. Let's check it out. From Kansas to Kashmir, you'll recognize Coca-Cola everywhere. The iconic red and white color scheme tells you exactly what you're getting, mm -hmm. no matter what continent you're on. But when you're back home and at your local corner store, some Coke bottles may look a little different. Those yellow hats, they weren't there before. I've However, never seen that. far from being some kind of mistake, these unique bottles actually convey a special message to consumers, and only those in the know are even aware of it. But before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. There are already different colored caps on Coke bottles, so what makes these yellow ones so unique? Well, usually the caps tell you what flavor the drink is. Right. Beige for vanilla, for example. Mm -hmm. But that's not the case with the bright yellow ones. Additionally, these special bottles are not available all year round. You will only recognize them within a certain time frame. Spring is the time of year when yellow caps appear in supermarkets. So keep your eyes open and you might see them in real life. I'm going to look today. But what makes them special? But before you ask if there are any other changes to watch out for, let's be clear. We're just talking about the cap here. There is no yellow colored liquid or anything. And everything else on the bottle looks the same. Hmm. From the famous logo to the red and white on the label, everything is identical to your regular Coke bottle. Yes, if it weren't for the caps, you would never know there was anything unusual. Can we just for a second talk about this blue Coke and this purple Coke and, and this pink one? Where, where are these flavors? What are these flavors? I've never even seen these before. I want to know about those. I also want to know about the yellow cap and I want to hurry up and get to it. But I don't, I want to know what those are. Well, about these bottles. Take those lids off and even John S. Pemberton would have trouble telling the difference. He's the guy who first combined the ingredients for Coca-Cola, in case you didn't know. But I did not know. after Pemberton came up with his brilliant work, he stumbled upon a huge problem. At this point, the fizzy, sweet brew didn't have a name. However, that soon changed when Pemberton's financial advisor dispensed some wisdom. Yes. Frank M. Robinson earned his place in the history books by inventing Coca-Cola. Talk about striking gold. According to the brand's website, Robinson said, the two C's would look good in advertising. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't wrong. From there, he also designed the popular Coca-Cola logo, which became a trademark in early 1893. But he never expected that. Imagine telling Pemberton or Robinson that their creations would still exist some 130 years later. We imagine they would be pretty shocked. How about the famous colors? When did Coca-Cola introduce this red and white scheme? Well, it happened open. in the company's infancy. In the 1890s, Coca-Cola used murals to advertise. And even then, the young company seemed to have its branding under control. The murals used red as a background and had lettering in white. Sound familiar? But that wasn't really the turning point. In 2018, a company spokesperson told Business Insider, Starting in the mid-1890s, we began painting our barrels red so that tax officials could distinguish them from alcohol during transport. Whoa. Since then, the colors have simply stuck. But which red does the beverage giant actually use? In reality, there is not just one shade. The red you see on Coca-Cola products comes from a trio of separate tones blended together. And the end result has never been officially recorded in design guides. Who knew it was this Meaning intense? you'll just have to improvise if you want to paint a room Coke red. So it's easy to see why the yellow caps stand out so much. They contradict a color combination that has been in the public eye for over a century. The sunny hue practically pops against the scarlet label. But the caps may not be as noticeable in the South Pacific. Well, at least this bright yellow would clash with the cans that Coca-Cola's South Pacific branch released in 2014. For a short time in this far-flung part of the world, you could buy Coke emblazoned in five different colors. Green, purple, blue, orange, and pink. Are the flavors different? With the yellow bottle caps, however, the situation is somewhat different. 
Yes, they are limited just like the color it cans. But there is a slight variation in the drink's ingredients when comparing this formula to that used in standard Coca-Cola. While regular Coca-Cola contains regular. high fructose corn syrup, the yellow top bottles do not. Oh. Instead, these drinks use a substance known as sucrose, a sweetener derived oh. from both beet sugar and cane sugar. And on paper, that might seem pretty random. Why replace a single component and nothing yeah. else? It is actually quite simple. The change is being made for those celebrating Passover. Along with a number of other foods, corn syrup is off the table during the annual Jewish holiday. Wow. But sucrose isn't off limits. Sucrose. Meaning people celebrating Passover can still enjoy a yellow cap Coke. The special caps are essentially signs that say, this drink is kosher during Passover. Kosher is a Hebrew term that translates as suitable, appropriate, or correct. Hmm. Simply put, it's like a seal of approval. It's okay. And if something is not kosher, that means you cannot eat or drink it during Passover. The strange thing- How many people actually knew this? Was this an advertised thing? Because I have never heard of this before. I mean, granted, I'm not, you know, I don't, uh, I don't celebrate that, but I just, I didn't, I don't think I realized that this was ever a thing because no one ever said it. And I've grown up around people that have, you know, been of all religions and all nationalities. I've just never heard of this. And I wonder if anybody else really knew this. When hopefully we get to the part where they just say where they say that, oh, this was said at this time. However, is that Coca-Cola is actually considered kosher all year round. So why can't Jews just pick up the regular bottles? What makes Passover so special that it warranted a different colored Coke? Now, this is where things can get a little confusing. Food and drinks that are considered kosher during the rest of the year may still be prohibited for Passover and standard Coca-Cola in this particular category. That's because the rules get stricter when annual leave rolls around in the spring. It all has to do with something in regular Coke, you see. So what are Jews not allowed to eat or drink over Passover? Well, for starters, everything that falls under the Shemetz category. Shemetz. This Hebrew term describes foods with grain ingredients, oh. meaning anything containing oats, spelt, wheat, barley, and rye is forbidden. But there's more to it than that. Any food that rises during cooking is also off limits. And if, Why? for example, a loaf of bread has been lying on a surface in the house, the residents must remove all traces of it before Passover. Hmm. Yes, down to the last crumb. Attentive people literally cannot touch Shemetz for the duration of the holiday. And we can't forget Kitniot either. Similar to Shemetz, it also has to do with what is forbidden during Passover. Not all Jews are required to observe Kitniot. If you don't have Ashkenazi, that is Ashkenazi. Eastern European ties, you're usually safe. But that only covers about a quarter of the world's Jews. Anyway, Kitniot prohibits you from touching legumes and even more grains. And since corn falls under this umbrella, that means Coca-Cola should be banned for Passover unless it contains sucrose instead of the high fructose corn syrup. So the yellow cap. Yes, a small change can make all the difference. But back to the yellow caps, you should know that they aren't the only sign of a Passover friendly cola. If you look closely, you will see that the plastic lids also have OUP printed on them. Oh, wow. This means that the Orthodox Union has given the product a thumbs up and confirms that it is kosher. This body is also responsible for maintaining the rule over other foods and beverages. It's a fascinating process to read about, isn't it? Finally, for those of us who are not Jewish, the pros and cons of kosher standards are probably a mystery. But if you're still not sure which cola is safe to consume during Passover, Coca-Cola can enlighten you. The Coca-Cola company offers products as year-round kosher kiri and kosher for Passover, KFC, what was that? a spokesperson said. In the United States, both Coca-Cola and Diet Coke are available as KYR Diet and Coke? Is that locations Diet Coke? where the bottlers have chosen to be certified. <laughs> Diet Coke. Kosher for Passover products are available in select markets during the Jewish holiday of Passover. Man, who even knew that? That's the, I mean, I feel like you have to be one of those people that really read labels if you really want to understand that that's what they're trying to tell you. Because I just would have overlooked that like, what? Why is this? I would have just, 
I don't know. Honestly, I probably wouldn't even pick it up. Like, if I just saw the yellow cap, I don't really drink Coca-Cola. But if I did, I don't think I would know that. But a uh, very cool thing. Let me know if you guys already knew about that, if this is an old thing, or if you're just finding out today like I am. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.